during the Passover holiday. They were eating lots of crackers. So Jesus said, take this bread, he called it bread.
and the presence of the church's minister in this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you with baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament, so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to stay for your intention. My friend Janine, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ in this church? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, please join your right hands together and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Michael, take you to me to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Janine, take you, Michael, be my husband, I promise to be true to you, in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God is doing, man is not God. To each other this day is a sign of your love and fidelity.
one in the sacrament of marriage, in the sharing of the one bread and of the one cup. So now, making one in love for each other, we ask this in Christ's Lord. The Lord be with you all. In the blessing of Almighty God is upon you with his joy and peace this day. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is my joy and privilege to present to you for the very first time this husband and wife. Check before you come out. Not doing nothing. Yeah, these batteries, I ran the batteries the other day. They should be good, so I guess they came with batteries. Okay. Models. See, the thing is, you want to try to keep it black so it's easy. But, obviously, well, yeah. Well, Josh hasn't seen this stuff. So I can use the, like, the green one of those lines. Is well, actually, these are two different. They can capture when the thing draws it. Mm -hmm. One of it is the program where I didn't I time align the whole PA and didn't worry about the sub. Right. And then the bottom one, I time align the PA to the sub. But, oh, you know, <laughs> if you took any shots today, Robert, we could... Somebody told me I've got a good, it's the guitar. Uh-huh. And you had the right moves, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, you were on the floor at one time, mm -hmm. literally on the floor. And I, I thought you were a great dancing and uh -huh. fell. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was, it was you were going on back purpose. and... Yeah, boom. I'm and just keep, to get down oh, like this. just keep just part of the act. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. And you just went down, right down. And just keep a part of the act. Luckily, the the girl that was behind him saw what he was doing and stepped out of the way. <laughs>
Thing. Right instead of a left, I want this to go straight and come around. Because I got the, the sun got in my <laughs> Yeah, we'll use the sun. I still want to trust myself to, to you know, land fully without somebody being there. We can with this one. Well, with these, yeah, but I mean with my big ones. It looks like it'll just be me touring Battleship Cove today because uh, Brenda and Robbie didn't want to go, so it'll just be me. Top of the conning tower of the submarine. This is just inside the USS Lionfish submarine, World War II era. This that four torpedoes. 
and is berthing here for about four crewmen as well. This looks like this is Galley. She's the officer's pantry. This is the ward room. Just for perspective how narrow this hallway is. This is how small the door is compared to the torpedo room. This is the captain's stateroom. Commanding officer. Captain has his own sink. Across his regular officer's quarters. This is the ship's office. Typewriter. Mail facilities. It's about the size of a phone booth. It's the wheel. I helm from steering the boat. It's scarcely illuminated in here. This is the bow plane's operating wheel. That is right. Can we make the assumption this is the radio room? That size of two phone booths. Well, maybe three. Nine Griffin, security booth. Here this is the galley. A little kitchen aid, like what we have. This is the dining hall and pass through. This came from that compartment. Crewman's berthing area. There's six over there. Probably had more on this side. Ice cream machine. USS Lionfish, SS 298, 311 feet length, beam of 27 feet, displacement, 1,525 tons surface, 2,245 tons submerged, speeds 11 knots, economical on surface, 10 knots submerged. Armament, 10 torpedo tubes with 24 torpedoes or 40 tube launched mines, 5 inch deck guns, mixed battery of 40 millimeter. 22 meter and 50 caliber guns. This is a Blair class submarine. Okay, this is the laundry room and probably the ship's head. Okay, now we're in the engine room. I believe this is a diesel engine. It's another engine room. This, I assume, is the engineer's escape ladder. Okay, this is the maneuvering room. The ship's two propellers are driven by four main motors which are directly below the space when the submarine operating on the surface, power for the motors, was provided by generators driven by the four diesel engines. When submerged, power for the motors was driven, provided by storage batteries. Batteries were recharged when the submarine returned to the surface. This is the lavatory. It is about the size of a phone booth. <laughs> okay, this is the aft torpedo room, so now we're in the back of the ship. It's a cutaway view of the torpedo. The warhead would be propulsion system. And here's the aft um, escape hatch. We have the lion fish. Are the aft facing guns of the uh, battleship USS Massachusetts. So the gun positions from the rear deck. Here's uh, two of the guns from the aft deck port side. These guns are huge. I haven't seen this much water. Three years. Well, the radar arrays. Radar would be just coming to use to roll or two. The skinny one on the left is a height finder radar. And now, 
We'll be going below decks. The main galley area, just below decks. That's where we just came from. And this is the machine shop, born in Massachusetts. This machine shop is the uh, bakery area. Well, stand mixtures, and they haven't really changed too much since the uh, 1940s. This is the ingredient for biscuits. This is the engineering department. General workshop and tool of the shoe. the crew berthing. Oh, ball of comforts at home. There's a thumping sound coming from somewhere. It is again. It's one of the ship's birthing area. And yeah, this was original equipment. Big Mamie by a boatsman, second class William Canfield, USS Massachusetts. Section of deck plating. That's a massive hole. This is about two inches thick. This is the marine berthing area. Store. Mounds all enjoy milk duds. Paid A.O. Henry milkshake. Mounds, Fifth Avenue, six year old Snickers, Sugar Babies. Here's a price list. It's Warren Officer State Room. Now we're mid deck. This is the auxiliary control room. We're about uh, two decks down now. Doctor's exam room, scale. It's an old wheelchair. Water tight door. We come to the hospital. All these years still smells kind of stale. It's an operating room. Sounds. It's code. This is the code room. The essential radio room. Two walls of it. This is the Combat Information Center. About two, three decks down. Old radar scope. Plotting board. I was in the Navy doing the equivalent job that I do in the Air Force. This is where I'd be working. Maybe we are here. Main battery powder magazine room. I think we are. It's 
around here. Normally I'd go down, but it's 3 30 now. Place closes at 4 30. There's still more decks to go. Took me this long just to get down this far. I'm going to find my way back up. Around the main deck, there's a destroyer parked somewhere over there. Nice today. This is inside one of the kid, the one out of battery backup on here. This is on the inside one of those barbettes. It's massive gun turrets. Not very much room in here. Well, this is the forward facing uh, area of the ship. I doubt this was the bridge. It seems too small. It's really got a good view. PT boat, patrol torpedo boat, this is all indoors. It's a captured Japanese suicide demolition boat. These one man boats were used to attack American surface ships assaulting Okinawa World War II. Armed with two depth charges. They sped out from shore, caves, and sealment to attack our invading forces by either dropping the charges near ships or crashing directly into them. The suicide sub was donated by Valship to Valship Co. by PT Boats Incorporated, Memphis, Tennessee. I mean, this is. I don't think I can even stand up in this thing. PT 796. You can see there's no side rails. Guns. The torpedoes are not concealed. This is officer quarters. Not very big. Bigger than the sub though. Use crew quarters. T-796 was commissioned in 1945. Wasn't decommissioned until 1970. This boat was used in the movie Horn's Way, starring uh, John Wayne. It's about fighting long. We're right underneath a bridge. If we're from Colorado, we don't have very many big bridges this big, but I would think if something would happen, this would be a very bad place to put a building. I don't know, just my personal opinion. Right now we're on board a, a landing craft. It's basically a big box. No seats or anything. Need carry tanks, jeeps, um, soldiers. These very came under a very heavy fire in a uh, June 6, 1944. 
See these at all the movies. Let's go up top. Okay, we're now up top of the landing craft. There's, uh, as you see, no um, armament at all. This is actually the bow that we're facing. So the bridge is in the stern. It's not much to the controls. I'm sure they did have it's been ripped out, but uh, steel is only a quarter inch thick. It's a nice convenient ramp now, but I suppose when it was used during wartime, those were the stairs. <laughs> There's a big old uh, propeller from one of the ships. And that ends our tour of Massachusetts uh, Cove, or Battleship Cove. Hey, Isabella. Hi. The store was closed at night when I got in. It was closed at night. And I gotta go to the store. Isn't that closed? It's open for Huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Hi, Damien. Hey, Damien. Damien. Was it his name? Like, Dante? Dante. 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 What happened? What happened to your ear? I don't know. What happened? Is it okay? Like a press. Why are you going to press it? Like that. Did it pop? Like that. Did it pop out? My strip is coming out. They enforce a type of, um, a type of, uh, Islam. Any, any type of that stuff is illegal. In, the, in that country. Imagine that, you can't have pictures, drawings, nothing, nothing. This is the USS Nautilus in Groton, Connecticut. US Naval Sub Base. This is the first nuclear powered submarine. Well, of course, we got here the one day of the week that it's closed, Tuesday. Freezing again. Robbie. So we're just outside the base and it's closed. We're staying with uh, my nephew Jimmy. The keys. By the time <gasps> school was almost. Hi. They had told us at the charter school. Bye. <laughs> Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. bye. Go and check a treat in the night. Take a treat. <laughs> Take a treat. <laughs> Could be a spider. Where's that go? Where's Robert go? Where are you going? Where I'm going to go uh, visit my other brother. You're going to go visit his brother. Uh huh. I want to. Hey, you caught yourself, huh? Not. That's his camera. Yes, it is. Camera, mommy. Wants to get yeah, that's my camera. Not that. My dad. Not that. Oh, that's camera, such a big camera. Camera. That's Okay, we just got here. And upon seeing this room, I don't think I'll ever complain about Robbie's room again. I'll talk about typical teenager's room.
is Fisher's Candy Store. Still the same place. And they call the food right here. There's the schools. So I was here from like first through third grade. Oh, this is Mrs. Rhinus's house. So I'm pretty sure it is. This is all my from my old place, doing the exact same pose that I did. Okay, Robbie. 89 Park Avenue. Yeah. And Steven should remember this. It's the American Legion Hall. Pac 466 used to meet. My first joined Cub Scouts. That's World War II Memorial from the uh, American Legion Hall. St. Paul's, down the road from where I used to live. This is the Historical Society. And yeah, I remember when it used to be a bank and they converted over. The old public library. And the Historical Society used to be the bank. We got Long Island Savings, built in 1891. There's Dad's old church. Lang shoes are still here. You want me to press this part? Hey, go ahead. Collins. <laughs> Mike's pizza. These are my regards to Colorado. Okay. And Mike's pizza. All right, I will. Show them how to make it in Colorado. What? Show them how to make that stuff in Colorado. That's good. If you wish you'd come for them, maybe I will show you. Uh, I wish you could, but we have to go back, uh, going up to uh, Massachusetts tomorrow, then flying out of Boston. And now I'm out here uh, visiting my brother. He lives in Huntington Station. Yeah. Yeah. 13, 14 years old? Yeah, that's when we moved out about 79. I remember, in fact, I remember when uh, this, this place opened up. Yeah. And you had to come here. This is the bay side of our island.
Here's the lighthouse at Fire Island. Atlantic Ocean. Head to the Atlantic. Hello, Atlantic. Ocean. Oh, a big foot in there. Yeah, hey, just stand there. Don't come up. Oh, here goes a big one. I think those waves. Get a little closer then. Bobby. We get a little closer then. You can see where it's going. Okay, it's far enough. Oh, it's avoiding him like the plague. Go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I said I was going to <laughs> Our island. This is downtown Northport. At sunset. Smell the salt air. Now we're in historic Salem. Seventeen eighty three of that one there.
I mean, so old you can't even see the dates on them.